Breaking NFL news, Colin Kaepernick set to work out with the Raiders this afternoon, confirmed by our Jonathan Jones and Josina Anderson. Jonathan Jones says that the workout hasn't happened yet, but will happen sometime this afternoon. And this will be the first workout for Colin Kaepernick since he last played in the NFL six years ago, finished out the 2016 season, and then that was it. Led the 49ers to a Super Bowl appearance before losing to the Ravens. He was a great dual threat quarterback for his first several years in the NFL, then tailed off 2015 and 2016. Of course, there was the kneeling and the, the subsequent uh, fallout from the NFL in the years following. So let's bring in Jonathan Jones, who's been working this story for us. JJ, there's a lot to unpack here. Why are the Raiders the first one to offer him a workout in six years? That's fascinating, right? And there was a couple of years ago, I believe 2018, there was a potential Seahawks workout that ultimately didn't go through. Pete Carroll had said, hey, I believe that this guy, Colin Kaepernick, is a starter um, in the NFL, has a place in the NFL. We've heard from many coaches, many general managers, many personnel folks over the years who have said um, that he has a place in the NFL, that he is talented enough, plenty of his peers and players in the NFL. We haven't heard that as much in recent years. And Chris, you note, he hasn't played since the 2016 season. I think the last time he threw an actual NFL pass was like the first or second day of January 2017. So it has been a while. Typically when you are out of the NFL for that long, no matter what the circumstances are, you typically are not returning to the NFL some five plus years later. But here we are, Colin Kaepernick getting that opportunity with the Las Vegas Raiders, a team owner in Mark Davis who um, has very much, you know, cared about diversity. Um, you look at what his father, Al Davis, uh, a big time believer in the civil rights movement back in the 60s, uh, hired Art Shell as uh, the first black coach back in the 80s of the modern NFL. And so Mark Davis, also the owner of the Las Vegas Aces, a WNBA team. Uh, the Raiders are not without their faults, certainly as an organization, but they have cared uh, a great deal about uh, trying to do the right thing as it relates to women and minorities over the years. And so not a surprise when you're looking around the NFL, a, a team that's going to give Kaepernick his first workout, it being the Raiders. Though if you are surprised that he is getting his first workout in five plus years, I would understand that. So JJ, when you look at, at the Raiders quarterback situation, obviously Derek Carr is the, is the starter. They traded for Jared Stidham. They signed Nick Mullins. If Chase Garber's on the roster as well, in your mind, is this is this a an opportunity for Colin Kaepernick to join the Raiders, or is it more of the Raiders saying, "Okay, we're going to give you a chance"? Other NFL teams look at this and maybe look at what Colin can do. I, I think it can be both of those things, right? I think the Raiders are number one, looking out for themselves. They're trying to make. Uh, themselves be the best possible team in the most competitive division in football that AFC West and so if they can strengthen the backup quarterback position and there's no question about it Derek Carr should not be afraid for his job right now certainly with the luxury uh, of his recent contract extension you understand that Marcus Mariota now in Atlanta who had been that backup there the last couple of seasons and so the Raiders are trying to make sure that they are well positioned at the most important position in all of sports and yes you mentioned they traded for Jared Stidham. Uh, they signed Nick Mullins. They had Garrett Gilbert. But once they traded for Stiddy, they decided to cut him loose there. Uh, you have a new head coach in Josh McDaniels, a new general manager in Dave Ziegler that, uh, Ziegler, excuse me, that this, uh, they're going to try to be competitive at every single position. And so if the Raiders are hoping to give Colin Kaepernick a, a little bit of a leg up to help him out with some of the other organizations, perhaps that's another piece of this but you know this isn't charity in my opinion this is very much the Raiders wanting to see what Colin Kaepernick has you know he had those workouts that he sort of dotted across the country mostly uh, on the west coast and uh, you heard high marks and good reviews from some of the uh, current NFL players some of the would-be NFL players that uh, he trained with and said yeah he still has an arm we remember he uh, worked out during halftime of the spring game there at the University of Michigan with his former coach Harbaugh. So 
Um, it, it's up to the Raiders to decide, obviously, if he has what it takes to crack this roster, but a very low-risk move when you consider uh, the football aspect of this for the Vegas Raiders. All right, Jonathan Jones with us as the Raiders work out Colin Kaepernick. J.J. reporting it's going to happen at some point this afternoon for the Raiders, who have four quarterbacks on their roster right now, but are going to be the first team in six years to give Colin Kaepernick a workout. This is the upcoming NFL schedule. Right now we're in the midst of OTAs. And then mid-June we get into the mandatory mini camps before uh, training camp and the Hall of Fame game and the season kicking off September the 8th. We're going to take a quick 60-second break. On the other side, we'll get the take from a former player, Brian McFadden, on the Raiders working out Colin Kaepernick. Nick led the 49ers to a Super Bowl appearance, losing to the Ravens, had a really good start to his career, tailed off in his last couple years with San Francisco. And then, of course, there was the, the kneeling during the national anthem to protest racial injustice, and then the fallout between he and the NFL. Let's bring in Bryant McFadden, who was playing football when uh, Colin Kaepernick burst onto the scene back 10 years ago or so. BMAC, let's just start with the situation at hand with the Vegas Raiders because you look at their roster. They have four quarterbacks on the roster, but it's Derek Carr, and then it's kind of everybody else. Why do you think they're bringing Cap in for a workout? I mean, clearly they have a void at the backup quarterback position left by Marcus Mariota when he went on to sign uh, with the Atlanta Falcons. You talked about the guys that are fighting for the backup role. I mean, Nick Mullins, Jarrett Stidham, uh, Chase Garber, Garbers, names that do, they don't necessarily resonate when it comes to experienced quarterback play. So clearly, they're trying to find out, you know, what's the best options outside of the current guys they have on their roster when it comes to backing up Derek Carr. And if you were to compare uh, Colin Kaepernick to Nick Mullins and Stidham and Chase, I mean, it's safe to say we've seen way, we've seen way more from Colin Kaepernick, even though he's been removed from the game since 2016 compared to the guys that I just mentioned. So this is a definitely, this is a big need for the Raiders. And you look at the quarterback position now in the National Football League, the backup quarterback is extremely important when it comes to depth, depth when it comes to injuries as well. So uh, this is a need for the Raiders. And clearly they're just trying to, you know, check off every checkbox that's available to see exactly who is better suited to back up Derek Carr. Now you mentioned it. It's been six years. The, the 2016 season, the last one that Colin Kaepernick played, the last time he was on an NFL roster. He was in his 20s then. He'll turn 35 this upcoming season. Uh, you know what it takes as a, a high-level elite professional athlete, and you know what, what the training takes, and, and you know the difference between training and game action. So, so what could Colin Kaepernick be six years removed from what he was? I can tell you this much, he's fresh. He's healthy, <laughs> right? I mean, he has fresh legs, he's healthy. Uh, this is a guy that utilized mobility when he was playing, so clearly some of the, the, the wear and tear he had throughout his playing days is no longer there. But cl clearly, rust has to be there. You've been removed from the game for such a long time, you're playing a position that it, it, you need to have rhythm. The chemistry, the rhythm needs to be there. That's going to take some time. So I think when you look at this workout for Colin Kaepernick, you need to be able to show the organization you still can complete can complete professional-like passes. The accuracy never was his, his strong suit, so I don't expect to see him flourish when it comes to that element. But what he did flourish at was athleticism and making things happen that were not there. And just having the it factor from time to time. You talked about leading the San Francisco 49ers to the Super Bowl. And clearly, they had every opportunity to win that ball game against the Baltimore Ravens. So we know who he was. We remember who he was as a quarterback. Do we, I believe he is the same guy? I'm not going to say that because he's older and he's been removed from the game for quite a long time. But I do believe he still has the necessary skill sets and attributes to be able to land a potential backup job. People have been hinting at this or maybe hoping for this uh, for the last several years. Why now? Why 2022? <clears throat> That's a great question, right? A great question question maybe you know certain organizations they look at Colin Kaepernick a little different than what they did years ago when no one wanted to give him an opportunity I think the last time he actually visited a team was 2017 
uh, and that was the Seattle Seahawks. So it's been such a long time since the team just actually really gave him a serious thought to come visit their team. But I think now understanding and seeing how far removed we we, we are when it comes to the kneeling, you know, people may have forgotten about that, not necessarily forgotten about it, but it's not a big it's not a big topic. You know what I mean? So now when you look at the need for the Raiders, the backup position is a big time need. They need to find a way to address that, not spending a lot of money. And then also knowing how far removed Colin Kaepernick is from the kneeling of the national anthem, it might not be as big a, a, of a distraction as it probably would have been years ago. So I think for the Raiders, it's a need, and the distraction is not as, 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 as hefty as it potentially would have been some years ago. Yeah, it was six years ago now, and uh, we've seen many, many more um, athletes do that as well. Not saying that that uh, that he would do that now. Who knows uh, what's in store for Colin Kaepernick. But the, the Vegas Raiders are giving him an opportunity to be at least to work out for them. Go ahead, B-Mac. That's a good that's a good that's a good point, you know, with with that, Chris. I wonder, let's say hypothetically speaking, he looks phenomenal in the workout. Will the Raiders address the kneeling? Mm -hmm. Will they ask the question, Colin, where are you when it comes to the national anthem? As a and teammate, that, how would you feel about that, BMAC? Me personally, it does it, I I can care less. As long as you're willing to do what you're supposed to do the week of leading up to the ball game. For us to be a, 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 a winning team, who cares? You're not causing any harm to yourself or anyone that's close to you. As long as you're doing what you're supposed to do and it's not taken away from your preparation, then our job is to play football and win ball games. So me personally, it wouldn't be that big of a deal for me. Um, but then for other people, they might not have the same you know, viewpoint as I do. And the same can be said for fans, right? So that's the thing, like... Will they address this? Like, let's say if he's, he, he looks up the part. Will they address, like, okay, are you still kneeling? And if so, will you consider not kneeling if we were to sign you? Well, as of now, all we know is that the, the Raiders are going to work him out at some point this afternoon. They do have several backups behind Derek Carr, Jared Stidham, Nick Mullins, and a rookie as well. But as BMAC mentioned, uh, not big-name guys not guys that you would feel super comfortable with, like a Marcus Mariota would have been in that backup role before, but now he is no longer there in Atlanta. Bryant McFadden uh, with us here on HQ. You can hear him with his cousin, Patrick Peterson, on all things covered. He was just visiting his cousin out there in the Twin Cities earlier this week at Vikings OTAs. They just laid down another all things covered podcast, and they were joined by couple of uh, Patrick's teammates there in Minnesota as well. Download and follow All Things Covered. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.